Hi there and welcome to Loki Collectibles. Right, as you've probably seen by the caption on the video, this is all about Little East Pet Shop. I must admit, these animals are cool and I still haven't got an English Bull Terrier one, which I've been after for absolutely ages. Anyone wants to find one, swap one, please tell me. Like, comment, do whatever you want at the bottom of the screen as well. Take the mickey out of me, I don't mind. Basically, the reason for this video is we made a part one, you know, because I have a collectibles website and you can buy all these, you know, Little East Pet Shop figures off my website, you know, they're normally around a pound each, that type of thing. Some of the rare ones may be a little bit more, but genuinely, you know, cheaper than eBay as a whole. And this is another section of basically of the collection I've got. So I did a video on the first lot of Little East Pet Shops I listed on my website, and I've just literally listed these on my website over the last few days. And so I just want to show you the new ones I've put, submitted to my website. I don't completely know what's mega rare and what's not, so you might find some bargains. Right, we'll have a little look at what we've got. I love these, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm a big grown up and I love these. Right, this accordingly is a number one. How cool is that Chihuahua? I would not trust that little Chihuahua with my dog, let's put it away, he looks evil. Surely he's trying to take over the world, that little dog he is. Right. We have a cute looking Dalmatian. That one's a nice one. I believe this is a pug. It has a collar. That's a cute one. I'm not sure about these. They're some type of rodent, hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs. That's a mouse. I've got loads of accessories for these as well. I'll do a video on those and I'll try and show you all. Have a look on my website. I have a whole box load full of accessories and play sets. And what I'll probably end up doing is just job lighting those on my website or putting them in little lots. And if you need any parts or, you know, any seats, thrones, collars, I think we've got hats, dresses, all sorts of stuff, you know, have a look on my website and we'll see what we can do with that lot. This has flock fur, nice cuggly. So cute, I could die type of cat. Bobbly head, and he has flocked real fur. <laughs> um, a little blue cockatoo, how cool. What else have we got cool? This one's quite a rare one. It took me ages to find the name for this one. I have put it on my website, I can't remember what it was called now, but that one's a pretty rare one. This one's epic. A kangaroo with boxing gloves and you can take his gloves off I think this is why I've got so many accessories which I'm gonna list on my website and seeing I'm not a massive you know expert on this I don't know where the accessories go it's like I think I've got the horse run set but I don't know where all the parts go so you know when I was looking through these that came up but it came from horse ranch that did so you know, and I did say I've already sold some of the bits, unfortunately, so I don't know what's complete and what's not. But as I say, visit LokiCollectibles.com, have a look at the little pet shop section, and just see what I've got. There might be some treasures there I've got no idea about. And I'm not just saying that as a ploy for you to visit my website. I genuinely don't know much about these. As I say, I have a little look on Google and see what's there. And most of the time, I just ask a pound each for them. How cool. You know, I do know there's there's a few rare dogs I've got, which, you know, they're in my other video, which are around the 6 95 price, but still that's a lot cheaper than what they're going for on eBay. That's nice. I've got a snowmobile and all sorts of snowy weird things in the box of accessories, so I've got a feeling these frosty ones came with skis and snowmobiles and stuff like that. How cute. Oh. This is cool. Feel sorry for me, penguin. How cool. <laughs> a posh Persian. Oh, cool. Two ferrets. I think they're both ferrets, but I think the reason is we've got an early issue of a ferret, and I think the later on they made look like that. Same the Chihuahua. That one, that was the original mold, but I'm not sure if it did look so scary. They had to remold it and because the newer version was completely different. St. Bernard. Cool. Another Persian. We got one with little hair. Very cute. A parakeet. The site. Hopefully, someone might have seen something rare or unusual in here. I can't remember what you're called. A spaniel, are you? That one's quite a rare one. 
and carrot with two prints. I think that came from a playset, little baby Benny. <laughs> this is quite cool. This one's quite a rare horse. It is the metallic white mane. I think he come from a horse ranch set or something like that. Another guinea pig hamster. Please tell me what these are. Can someone please? I don't know how popular this video will be. Someone tell me what these are. Are they guinea pigs or are they hamsters? Or give me the names. I do like that, Benny. Last one to show you, and then that's the video done. And this one feels sad. Sorry. <laughs> right, so if you like any of these type of things, go on likeycollectibles.com. Just see what I've got. We do mushy monsters and all sorts of weird and wonderful things. But what I try and do is I try and charge everything fair. I don't try and rip you off. I know what I pay for these items, so I try and just make it a bit easier for your kids and adults, you know, just to try and complete your collection at fair prices. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye. And as I say, please comment. And the more subscribers i got and they help you out, the more, more of the cool things I can start putting on my website and... You know, basically rescuing them from car boots and charity shops, stopping the other dealers who go and list them on eBay for crazy prices and actually try and sell them at fair prices to people. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye.